everybody welcome to a new what i wore in a week i feel like i'm setting the bar really low for the start of this what i wore in a week um but i'm getting ready very quickly this was not ever meant to be on the cards for this what i wore in a week well not for today anyway um i literally just threw this on this morning so that i could go and get coffee and then josie texted me and she was like do you want to meet me before my um what's the word before my meeting today and i actually am fairly free until the afternoon when i need to start getting ready i have to wash my hair for this evening because i stupidly put gel in my hair last night which is why i look like a toad right now but until i need to wash my hair at the last dying second i am actually free so i'm gonna go and meet her quickly and i'm just like trying to make myself look a bit more alive because i've been feeling run down lately and i've I think I look it as well so just like adding some life yeah there's not many people that I would uh, jump into action to go and like meet last minute but I will for Josie I like hanging out with her she is so much funnier than people give her credit for you know when someone just has like really good like chat <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense but yeah she's just I think she's pretty fun throwing on some concealer some Dior lip oil lip glow oil and a little bit of lip liner. I might, I think I need to put some tinted moisturizer on Vera back. So we're gonna go with a little bit of the YSL new Bare Skin Tint in shade four. Just because my under eye corrector is actually a little bit dark and I didn't realize. Yeah, I am in London this week for Fashion Week. So I thought, I would do a little what I wore in a week because I sometimes feel like the events aren't necessarily the most uh, like fun thing for you guys to watch but the outfits can be really fun. I thought of what I wore in a week with some little vloggy bits would be like a fun thing to do so that is what we are going to do. I am staying at the Great Northern Hotel this week. It needs more tinted moisturiser. Um, yeah, I'm staying at the Great Northern Hotel, which is one of my favourite hotel and has been for years. And I'll give you a little room tour when I get a sec. Because um, this room is really beautiful. I always feel so lucky when I get this room. I've had it before. This hotel is in the best location because I'm basically, like, I am, I am staying at King's Cross Station. Like, it, you, I can see it. It's so soundproofed, you can't hear it, which is incredible. Um, unless someone like beeps really, really loud, then you can hear it, something, but you can't hear like the station or anything. And um, it's super cute, because you can see like the St Pancras like clock tower from the window, as you've probably seen. But it means that like the tube situation, like I literally, I barely even have to go outside to get to the tube and yeah it just makes getting around so easy and Josie's meeting is in Covent Garden so it's just I, it will take me like 10 minutes to get there and even if it's rainy it doesn't matter because I barely need to be outside it's just like the best location there's a taxi rank right outside so if I like need to hop in a cab like and get somewhere really quick for whatever reason it just makes life so easy and then the food spots around here are just so good so yeah i'm really looking forward actually to um this weekend because i will not be alone and um it'll be i think it'll be quite fun and i can like go out for dinners and stuff like that and it'll just be cute but anyway the outfit which you all came here to see uh let me move you about a little bit so i'm wearing a green adenola set which i think matches the walls in here a bit too well i don't know why i picked the green for this trip i probably should have gone for black so that it was very versatile and able to actually be worn with things but in my tired haze packing very early in the morning i picked the green i've just got my trainers on and then i've got a zara bomber jacket i actually forgot a lot of things like i forgot a lot of my bags like my evening bags uh which is not ideal so you will be seeing the new baby if you didn't watch my last vlog uh this is the new baby. Um, you'll be seeing her a lot this week because I don't actually have that many other bags. And I also forgot one of the jumpers, which was an integral part of one of the outfits, but also worked in the little capsule wardrobe that I built as part of like my everyday uh, like casual wear as well. So I am freezing. So when I go to Covent Garden, I'm going to buy some kind of jumper as well to wear underneath this because this is not... Uh, really quite appropriate for the weather that we're having this week. So these are going to be the other part of my outfit which is also great because 
it kind of hides the fact that my hair is terrible because I put gel in it last night. Um, I'll show you a picture of last night, last, I can't speak today, uh, last night's look here. I put like loads of gel and mousse in it. And when I gel spray it, you can't do anything to it, like nothing, you have to wash it. That was a bad idea, but we learn. We live and we learn. I probably won't do another wet look whilst I'm here, she says. Yeah, then the sunnies are also hiding my under eye bag. Who, who would know? And also for those of you that are eagle-eyed, eagle-eyed, is that the phrase? Yes, I do have the Zara Bomber jacket in two colors because I am a psychopath. Anyway, going to go out now and get my second coffee of the day and I'll bring you along with me. Let's go. <laughs> oh, you look so chic. Like, this is stunning. Where have you been hiding this? I actually got this for Nashville, and I thought if I wear it in Nashville, I'll keep it. And if I don't, I'll send it back on my return. I didn't wear it, but I thought it was <laughs> oh, the bag's gorgeous as well. The bag? Yeah. This is really bag. dirty. If anyone knows how to clean these things. Oh, me. I don't know. Is it like a linen? Yeah. Oh. Could I stick it in the tricky. washing machine? Mm, probably not. I try some soap and water first though. Yeah, maybe a face wash. And the water. boots, stunning. So chic. <laughs> I'm just, I'm really envious you can get your leg up that high. <laughs> She's gonna knock herself out. So I just got back to the room and I thought I'd give you a quick little room tour um, of my room at the Great Northern. As we come in, we have my wardrobe, which is giving like little uh, New York apartment vibes. And then we've got a nice full length mirror. This is the jumper, by the way, that I picked up earlier. I went for a green because I just thought it was super cute, but I'm also obviously wearing the green leggings. So I wanted something that felt kind of like it was meant to be worn together but um just in general i will get so much wear out of this anyway so yeah that's what i got and then you walk into the room from this little corridor you've got windows literally all the way around this is one of my favorite rooms to stay in at the great northern i've got a nice little corner sofa this did look slightly more presentable yesterday uh you might have seen it in the last vlog there was a little bit less <laughs> going on but yeah like i said windows all the way around it is stunning and then we have the rest of the room and it's really gorgeous like the whole hotel is kind of subtly railway themed which is also very cute because it's literally right between two stations even like the signs on the doors have like almost little train style numbers it's hard for me to describe because i am useless with describing anything to do with trains it's really not my area of expertise but the hotel is stunning and then we have the bathroom through these double doors with a giant bathtub some rooms have showers some have bathtubs and then you've got your sink a mirror and shelf situation and i've never really unpacked when i've stayed here before but it feels really nice actually you get the dressing gowns you get slippers so yeah that is my little room tour okay i am running so late because i had to wash my hair and wash all of yesterday's gel out of my hair before this event and it took way longer than i expected it to i had an impromptu meeting my whole day has been thrown off however let's just shut you uh, this is my outfit of the evening. I don't know if I like this. All of the stuff that I was meant to be wearing turned up very, very last minute. So I've just kind of thrown this outfit together. This is what we are rolling with. I've got a dress on from Wolf and Badger. I have a Zara blazer on, my Jimmy Choo boots, um, which I'm actually really glad I'm wearing because it's quite chilly at the moment. And I just, they are a little bit more comfy than a pair of like slingback heels. And then I have my Prada bag. My hair is in a ponytail because it literally has just been blow dried and it's going to misbehave. I have Monica Vinader jewelry on and uh, one of the rings is from Edge of Ember. No necklace. And yeah, that is this evening's look. Let's go. <laughs> I have a full face of makeup 
and it's not actually light outside. Okay, it's 7.30, show is at nine. I need to be there just before and meet my managers. However, I am leaving extra early and that's why I'm getting ready right now because I need to have coffee before I speak to people so that I am like a nice person. So let's get ready to go. The base of this outfit is giving Rachel from Friends in that scene where she's like, USA, not ready. Yeah, I am wearing like, I find it really hard to do like fashion um in the sense of like cool girl layering because there's just something about it that just doesn't work for me and i think there are certain like i don't know if it's just people or if it's body shapes i don't really know what it is like, i try on like certain things and i'm like yes this bangs and then i try on things that involve any form of layering or too much stuff and i'm like no this is this is not the vibe it just looks too busy on me I don't know why there's something about me that just can't hold that kind of like strong heavy look if that makes sense things need to be a little bit more minimal simple streamlined that kind of thing that being said i'm not just going to the show in this but anyway this is from ami amy i don't know how you say it but yeah lovely brand i have black like chunky socks on and i'm gonna wear these loafers from our cat these are so heavy but they are so stunning these are normally very comfortable however i wore heels last night and my feet just always swell and then the next day any shoe is uncomfortable so um yeah i don't know if whole fashion weeks are for me because i will just have like really swollen in pain feet by the end of the week i don't know if it's good for my foot health i'm going to wear my favorite black trench and I could leave it open like this, um, which I think works, and I think maybe for some photos potentially because I think it's cool like to have the black lace. Black lace is like quite a big trend for this season. It's just quite nice. However, I really love this done all the way up to the top. This looks extra cool with like a roll neck underneath as well, but um, I feel like that's really defeating the point of the dress underneath but to be honest isn't this already i don't know i kind of love this done all the way up cinched in at the waist with the loafers at the bottom i just think it makes a really nice silhouette it just it just kind of works a little bit better and it's a little bit less busy but still kind of like looks quite statement so i think this is cool um i'm gonna go with a headband today because you guys know love a headband from prada which matches my bag i really like this it's perfect for the weather today it's drizzly it's cold i am gonna get the tube because um the show is actually like two stops down on the tube line so yeah flats they are needed um so this whole look kind of works very functionally as well as just being kind of cool that is my look for today's show i have the show and then i have a presentation after that um and then i'm not doing anything until the evening okay let's go <laughs> it means i can edit the sunday's video but i'm really hungry i haven't had any breakfast and i didn't even get my whole coffee so mm -mm. i'm gonna go raid pret um but i've just changed quickly because me at shows and me out of shows is like two different human beings i don't even think they live on the same planet i have put on my new favorite sweatshirt this zara one i got this in a size large so this isn't the fit that it's like meant to have i think it's meant to be very cropped and kind of like tight um but i just really liked the way that it looked i wanted to wear it super slouchy and because i knew i'd be wearing it over my like active wear sets most likely um i just wanted something that did feel a bit slouchy and oversized and this was really all that like everything was super cropped in zara so yeah i sized up i'm wearing my pajama bottoms because i literally am going across the road 
to get food. Um, my Nikes, my like workout trainers. Um, I'm just gonna throw on <laughs> my Prada bag, and this is um, this is the look. And we can't forget the Apple headphones because they're an accessory. They look enormous on me. They do not look like this on everybody else. <laughs> like I don't even have to extend the headphone. This is my look for going to forage for food. Good evening everybody. I have spent the afternoon editing and shooting. I am now in tonight's outfit and honestly I just want to be in my pyjamas. My feet are dead. There are so many blisters on my feet right now. It is insane. Even the shoes I'm wearing tonight, they barely, there's barely shoe and I'm still in pain so that is wild. Like look at them. There's barely shoe here. It's probably another one of the reasons why they are not uh, all that comfy. No, to be fair, I've worn these before and they were lovely. Oh, it's that bone on the side of my foot. Wow. I don't normally have a problem with it, but it's killer at the moment. However, anyway, I am wearing this Zara navy pinstripe blazer and so I thought like what could be really fun to pair with that and to like contrast it. So I picked out my fuchsia jimmy Choo bag which you guys will just know that i love so much it doesn't go in my collection it's like one of the anomalies but i can't like she actually hurts your eyes to look at her but she's it's so it's just such a fun bag and i love the like slouchy scrunchiness of it the satiny feel it's a complete contrast to the blazer and then i have matching shoes because i just quite like matching accessories up i think it's quite fun rather than having like the entire outfit being really monochrome just having like a couple of accessories that match i think is really lovely um do i just want to be in a bomber jacket and jeans yes absolutely but saving that look for tomorrow anyway let's go to dinner good morning everybody so it is saturday no fashion week stuff got put in the diary today but the hotel was already arranged, so I have a day off. He says, I still need to do like the fine tuning, like the fine, fine tuning, like info box and stuff for tomorrow's video. But other than that, three is a boy. But it just so happens that Ryan actually has a show in London today. So I'm gonna go. And it's not a late show, it's a day show, which I love. Day drinking, my thing. Just love a day party. I love being in bed by half past nine so this is this is my bag and i'm just so over the moon that i get to just dress really cash today i feel like this is just my happy place and i should just go to um the fashion week seasons like copenhagen where you can be a bit more like chill today we are going for the lower V little crop kick flare jeans which i just love so much i think they're so cool i love a funky trouser i actually just bought i'm gonna show you i think i might wear them like out for dinner tomorrow night i have like silver trousers love a funky trouser um i am wearing a low of a tank with this which i wasn't intending on doing this is just what i happen to have brought with me and i didn't really think it through and if i wear my silver trousers tomorrow there's like my top that i want to wear with that that I don't want to get dirty today. So I'm just gonna wear this. Um, and then I've got a bomber jacket, which I'm gonna throw over the top. I'm gonna go with my gray Zara one. I have the cream one as well, but again, I think I'll wear that with my silver trousers tomorrow. And this is just like so nice and cash. Um, unfortunately, the footwear is probs gonna let this outfit down because I didn't have the space in my wardrobe to bring uh, like a dressy pair of trainers or like I don't know I don't know what this needed uh, but I don't have it so I'm just gonna throw my Nike trainers on and look really really cash but it's my day off and it's a day party in East London is it East I think it's East and after this week they're lucky if I turn up wearing makeup so it is trainers today all the way oh I could wear these and these are very comfy like they're basically like a sock just on a heel so really not that uncomfortable at all ah this does i know everyone's probably gonna be screaming like wear the boot wear the boot i don't really want to wear the boot but i'm just I'm just doing some research oh now i can't decide like this definitely just makes it super casual 
but the boot actually looks really nice. It's pretty comfy as well. It's actually not rubbing in some of the places that the trainer actually is. I need to go to prep, so I'm gonna wear the trainers to prep and uh, then I'll decide when I get back. Good morning, everybody. I am feeling slightly worse for wear today, but it's all good because we are going for breakfast at Dishoom, which is like one of my favorite things to do when I have a free morning in London. I actually wasn't meant to have a free morning in London. Fun fact, I was meant to be doing a show, but um, there was like a change of plans last minute. I'm not really sure what's happened, but I actually don't mind because I think I would have been not here not present if i'd had to get up at 6 a.m after yesterday i didn't even drink that much i'm just exhausted i feel like i'm very highly sensitive to external stimulation i can't even say that this early in the morning and i find situations like that very <laughs> overwhelming um so i felt absolutely exhausted when we left yeah we went and got honest burger it was a delish what are you doing i've been hiding in the background <laughs> Why are you being so creepy? <laughs> anyway, to circle back, circling back, uh, we're going for Dishoom, which I'm so excited about. I feel like I almost like silently manifested this in my brain. I was literally like, but if it got cancelled, that's my one day that I could go for a Dishoom breakfast. <laughs> Lo and behold, we're going for a Dishoom breakfast, so manifest, people, manifest. Anyway, I'm wearing my new favourite jumper, and then I'm also wearing my Loewe jeans i'm gonna wear trainers I wore these out yesterday and cannot recommend wearing trainers to go out drinking more why do girls wear heels like honestly never doing it again never if the club requires trainers i'm not going requires heels you mean yeah thank you <laughs> thank you <laughs> club requires heels i'm not going that's it i'm not going <gasps> oh i didn't <laughs> i didn't think they'd still be uh popping feels like the anti what an influencer wears during london fashion week yeah, that is the outfit I'm going now. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm still half asleep. Bye. Good morning, everybody. This morning is my last morning in London. We are getting ready to go to the Edelin Lee presentation today and then I am going home. I am so excited to see the little shrimp. I've actually already been out this morning. Uh, I wore a more low-key version of what I'm going to be wearing right now, which is basically a slight tweak on yesterday's outfit. And this morning I basically just wore yesterday's outfit because I was literally just going to meet Victoria for breakfast at 7 in the morning. So <laughs> I didn't really want to think about that, you know. So I am wearing my and other stories, high neck jumper, lower way jeans, and then I've got my ASOS, I don't know if you can see my shoes, but I can't tell. Um, I've got my ASOS sock boots on, and then I'm gonna go with my cream bomber jacket. I love the gray one actually more than the cream, but the reason I'm going for the cream is because I'm gonna wear my snood. Um, and I was meant to be wearing a much nicer outfit than this today, but I have, a migraine coming on and I just want to be in bed so this is the closest I'm getting to being in a sleeping bag why did I curl my hair oh there's some bits of hair out sunnies and uh yeah that is the outfit this isn't the outfit I was meant to wear this is probably like the least fashion weeky thing you could probably wear this is migraine chic bye bye now bye bye <laughs> We are home, uh, or we have been home for about 12 hours, and we are back off to London. Ryan has a meeting, uh, I have a meeting, and the meetings are literally uh, like two steps from where we were staying yesterday. Uh, just happens to be very weird timing. So we are back off to King's Cross today. I'm quite excited, this is my first meeting in 11 years with YouTube. I've never had a meeting with them before, never met the teams, never had like a one-to-one -one with them, which I feel like a lot of people used to, like eight years ago. But yeah, I'm going to meet them and I'm so excited because YouTube is like one of the things in the world that I'm the most nerdy about. Like people that know me want to start a YouTube channel, they message me. I'm like the oracle for weird things just very weird things about youtube but yeah i'm so excited to hopefully like 
geek out with them. Today's outfit uh, is just, I'm keeping it really simple. I just wanna be comfortable today, so I'm wearing my Holland Cooper black skinny jeans, skims, uh, body, and then just going to be a broken record this week and uh, wear this. I was gonna wear the cream one and then I realized I've worn it like three days in a row now. But if you wanted like a whole video on like styling, the Zara bomber jackets, I guess this is it. And then we're gonna dig out my fave because I missed her whilst I was in London. This outfit looks really cute uh, with the low FA jeans. But again, I've also worn them like a lot <laughs> lately. So I just need to like stop wearing the same things every day. And for shoes, I think I'm gonna go with my All Saints black boots. These are so comfortable. Like I already feel, my feet already feel good in them. And I have so many blisters right now. Oh, and then I'm gonna take my, oh my gosh, so heavy. I'm gonna take my giant tote because I wanna take my laptop and I wanna take my diary as well because I just need to sort my life out. But yeah, this is today's OOTD. Let's go. Be used on certain routes and at specific stations. <laughs> Good morning everybody. Today it is Thursday. I did not get dressed yesterday. I'm not even going to BS you. I didn't get dressed. After the busyness of last week and the multiple outfit changes, uh, my schedule is not normally like that at all. I am very like low key. I just so I never want to get dressed ever again. So I've had a day off, but I was really excited to just put on a nice little outfit today because I always find when I go away for like an extended period of time, when I come back, I'm always so excited to be reunited with all of my clothes. And it's generally the best time for me to find new outfit combinations. So I just woke up this morning and I was like, I know what I want to wear. Great, that never happens. So far, not looking uh, spectacular really at all. I've just got a selected femme t-shirt on. I really like these. They're like boxy, almost like boyfriend t-shirt-esque. And then I've got some Zara jeans on, which you won't be able to see because the camera is at a different angle. So I know I have been editing this video and I'm so sorry I keep cutting off my shoes. It's my own fault, I'm so sorry. I'm blind, so when I am like doing this, and I'm over there, I can't see this. So um, I actually can't tell that my feet aren't in it. And the amount of times I've tried and gone, yeah, my feet are in that. And then looked back at the footage and my feet are not in it. So I'm so sorry, but just know that nobody is more annoyed than I am. Anyway, I will readjust when I show you the full look and hopefully we will all be able to see my footwear today. Not that it's gonna be spectacular at all. One of the key items I wanted to style up today is this cardigan. I don't get that much wear out of it because obviously it's a colour which is is something I'm averse to. But yeah I just kind of wanted to see if I could style this up. I'm, I've put a t-shirt underneath it which is not something that I would normally do but it's winter and I felt like it would be weird to just leave it without. And then I'm going to go with my Nike whatever these are. I'll link them. I do have these in pink which could be cute but I didn't want to do too much pink. I might put my hair up. I can't really decide. Maybe like a half up, half down. I just think it needs, it needs to give a little something. I really like the pink. It ties in kind of nicely with the fact that I wear a lot of blush at the moment. Oh, it's cute. I'm gonna add this little opal necklace as well, just because it's like a nice pop of color and a contrast with the pink. This is what I would do if Hypothetically, I were going outside. Oh, this is so cute. I actually don't feel like I even want to do a coat with this. <laughs> yeah, I like this. I think this is really sweet. And then, because it's cold at the moment and rainy, I think the Zara Bomber, the cream one, would look amazing with this, but... <laughs> it's giving Eskimo girly, but I'm kind of not mad about it. I think this is really cute with the pink cardigan. However, I could also go for this. This bag I feel like is the underdog of my collection, which might sound stupid because it's obviously a Chanel bag and it's stunning, but it has way more versatility than you would think. Anytime I wear denim, it just looks sensational. But equally, I think this bag would be really fun with the pink cardigan. So I'm gonna go for this. 
I love this. I love it so much. And it makes sense whether you can even see the pink or not, I think. Yeah, that is my outfit of the day. Really simple, like, cardigan t-shirt and jeans combo, but I love it. This color is just so morning, everybody. It is Friday. Today, I am working from home, but I need to pop out and get my hair done, which I'm super excited about because it desperately needs a wash. I'm wearing Holland Cooper jeans. Their jeans are some of the best fitting jeans. Like, I love my Loewe ones, and they are some of the best fitting jeans I've ever owned, but so are these, and um, Holland Cooper jeans are considerably more affordable. I'm wearing a Topshop racer back top, um, just as an extra layer, because I'm going to wear this jumper from And Other Stories. I just don't really know what to wear today, uh, and I'm just going to go super casual. So this is the jumper. It is just gorgeous. It feels so lovely and soft. I like the grey colour a lot. I have not normally been a grey girly um but i found that when my hair was like warmer and lighter they really clashed it was like too cool toned and then too warm toned but since going darker and ashier i find that i can wear colors that i couldn't really like they just didn't sit they just didn't pop before they just did not pop whereas now not that a gray can pop it's like the most boring color to wear but it just didn't look right but now i love it and then i'm also gonna wear my all saints boots because i love them i love these jeans they just tuck so well into like boots big fan of these i honestly could not recommend them more highly these are my favorite of all of the hong cooper jeans that i've tried so far in terms of bag i might go for this one just to add an extra bit of tone and texture but still like very much in keeping with the grey. Sunnies, not that I need them today, but I need to be able to see when driving and it hides my under eye bags. I don't normally wear a coat when I drive unless it's like Arctic, um, but I might change my mind and walk to be honest, because it's good for you, apparently, who knew. Um, I would go for my giant oversized puffer coat because it's just my favourite. I need to get some makeup remover on the collar though, because it's really letting the seam down. I love like really cash winter dressing at the moment it's just my favorite puffer jackets bomber jackets my favorite things to throw on at the moment and i like the way the black matches the boots but then we've got a lot of gray going on and then the blue jeans are like breaking up also it's kind of like transitioning us nicely from winter into spring not that spring is anywhere near close but mentally mentally it's spring for me but yeah that is my outfit of the day to go and get my hair done